Corporate America and the Culture Wars. It almost sounds like a uh, title of a bad Star Wars movie for crying out loud, but that's that's where we're at. Um, the Culture Wars have come home to corporations in the United States. Um, take a look at the backlash, Bud Light. Take a look at what has gone on over at Target. Um, now North Face, and there, there's going to be others that are out there. And again, we told you this was coming. We told you this is coming. You get these progressive groups out there. Once you give them a little bit of power, they like to push and push and push. We have been vehemently against ESG, DEI, all this crap out there. Dave Chappell, one of his skits, he said, you know, we... He was called, he said, never, you never want to get the alphabet people upset or angry with you because they're loud. They are. Now, as my longtime listeners know, I got my, my libertarian leanings. I, I don't, I don't give a darn. I don't give a darn what you do in your free time as long as you're not bothering others. I don't care what you do in your bedroom. That, that's not up to me. But you don't have to push your lifestyle on others. That, that to me is ridiculous. It really is. It's patently absurd. It's ridiculous. You don't see me pushing my lifestyle on you. We're all different. We're all unique. I, I get that. I, I understand that. But, but this, what's happening right now is, is, is nuts. Now, I want to frame this in, in terms of corporate America. Um, yeah, I, I have a company, but I'm not publicly traded. There's three shareholders. Yeah, we got a lot of workers, but there's three shareholders. There's myself, my brother, Michael, and my brother, Matthew. We own it. We own it. We're, we're accountable to each other. You're the CEO of a publicly traded company. You have a fiduciary duty to your shareholders, not to some progressive group. By any stretch of the matter, you have, you have a duty to do the right thing by your shareholders. Now, I don't know. We, we talked about this before. Who in their right mind over at Anheuser-Busch thought it was a good thing to uh, put a famous, I don't even know, again, I don't even know how it works. Is, is it a transgender male or transgender female? All I know, it was a guy pretending now to be a girl. I don't know which one it is. And I, quite frankly... I don't give a shit. It's not important to me. Okay. I don't give a crap about your stupid pronouns. Okay. I don't. I've said this before. It's stupid. I'm following the science here. Okay, people. Sorry, I'm following science. You can say whatever you want that there's all these genders. There's not. There's not. Period. The end. You go to kindergarten cop when Arnold Schwarzenegger, little boy in the front. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Good. That kid was right. You're all wrong. Period. The end. Okay? Oh, no. The, the earth is flat. No, it's not. Okay? That's how ridiculous your argument is. And, and quite frankly, I like the birdcage. I thought it was funny. It, back when I used to live in Southwest Florida, I know that it was, it was popular. One of the restaurants there, they would have drag queen bingo night and people would go. And yeah, for adults. For adults, what, what is, I'm trying to figure this out too, what is the grand desire for drag queens, their desire to do story hours with children? I don't get it. I don't understand it. I, I'm not going to go in there as hetero man. Hello, I'm hetero. You know, and, and, and read to the kids. I'm going to read to the kids like a normal human being would. And I'm sorry, it's what you're doing is not normal, but it's okay. You don't have to be normal. You can be different. I don't give a damn. You just don't have to put your lifestyle on everybody else. And it's become too much. Okay? You overshot. Most people could give a darn. Okay? Most Americans, the people that are pushing back against this, couldn't give a darn what you do on your own as long as you're not pushing it on others. Now, with that being said, getting back to uh, these cowardly CEOs, because I'm going to give you my... My honest opinion, a lot of these CEOs that I've met uh, over the years in, in my business, a lot of them are just a bunch of wusses, okay? They, they, again, they make a shit ton of money 
And, and again, they're a part of they're a part of the you know the watchdog on Wall Street. Many are part of the watchdog on Wall Street axis of evil, big business, politicians, and the mainstream media. They have their own clubs. They have their own parties. All the society stuff. They they don't want to be disinvited to these things. They they don't. They don't. They they, they want to be a part of all of the things that are going on. And if it that's the cool and trendy thing at that point in time, they're cowards and they they won't push back. Cowardly CEOs are failing their shareholders. Failing their shareholders because they're being bullied by progressive groups. And again, CEO, fiduciary responsibility to his or her shareholders. And you know, Elon Musk mentioned this yesterday said lawsuits are going to start piling up. They are. You're going to start seeing shareholder lawsuits. Now, again, uh, certain things I, I just quite frankly, I, I don't get and I don't understand. Uh, and, and like I said, I'll see this, you know, you, you're going to go into a target and you're going to have a massive display in the front with clothes that have, you know, Tuck this in. And I, I, listen, it's a whole world out there, people. Okay. I, I didn't even know that this was a thing that they mass market at this point in time. I really don't. But you didn't think there'd be blowback? You didn't think there would be blowback? And not, not everyone, you know, happens to agree with that lifestyle, which again, that's someone's opinion. I, I may disagree. I, like I said, I don't care what these people do. Just stop shoving it down our throats or every anyone's throats. Again, I, I remember, I mean, I, this is going back in time. I remember back when the uh, O'Reilly had his program on Fox, the O'Reilly Factor, looking out for the folks. And he would always, um, he would, he would always uh, go to, there was a, some parade, I guess, in San Francisco and it would just get, you know, the clothes and everything like that would get completely out of hand. Um, and, it, you know, and it was fulsome. I, I, I can't remember exactly, but wh whatever it may be. And I, I was always watching the show. I said, Bill, what the hell do you care, man? You don't live there. Okay. They got their one little area that they're there. They, you know, you know, that's, that's, that's up to, you know, that's up to them and that community. Um, but they want to go ahead and do that. And that, that's fine. I mean, in New York City, they're gonna, they'll have a big parade going on. I know the Halloween parade in Greenwich Village has is is always been a, a big thing. I, I don't care. I don't care. I just don't understand why you have to push all of this, you know, sexuality stuff on the kids. It doesn't make any sense to me. Again, I brought my kids up and I wanted them to enjoy being children. That's a, that's a part of your life, part of your life where, again, the, the innocence that was there, you know, taking them to Disney. I, I would have never gone back to Disney again if I they had that situation out in California where you had a fairy godmother. Well, they don't call them godmothers anymore. I know what they call them because they can't say that. Um, some guy with a beard wearing a dress and makeup. I, I would have never gone back again if I saw that. I don't want my kids exposed to that crap because that's what it is. It's crap. Dora, Diego, uh, you know, <laughs> Bob the Builder, superheroes, all of that stuff. Okay. You don't have to be pushing this stuff on them at that age. I don't get it. I don't. And again, companies are going to be paying the price. They are going to be seeing lawsuits coming down the pike. I, I'm surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lawsuit, uh, shareholder lawsuit against Target in, in the near term. Based upon you take a look at how what, what's happened to that stock. As soon as we saw what was going on, we sold immediately. I'm out. I'm not, I'm not holding on to this. We dropped like a freaking rock for crying out loud. And, and rightfully so. And you know, the, the funny thing, the other thing, we'll end on this. Um, you know, it's at the, the boycotts. I've never been really too into 
to boycotts. You know, certain things, I, products I won't buy from certain people. I guess I'm technically boycotting them for whatever reason it may be. Usually more often than not, it's not for some sort of um, political or social reason. It's usually because they piss me off uh, in some way, shape, matter, or form by being annoying with their advertisements online, whatever it may be. But um, I, I now I'm, I avoid these places. I do. I, I, I avoid certain places. And the, the left is calling it, they're calling it, um, I'm not making this up, economic terrorism. You boycott Target. You don't buy Bud Light anymore. It's economic terrorism. And the funny thing is they can boycott whatever the hell they want. They can boycott whatever they want. Again, you know, you take, you actually take a look at Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. They, you know, they, they basically started that trend back in the day. You know, you, you shake down a company, shake down a company, warn that you're going to have a, a massive boycott of the company unless company does X, Y, and Z. And then you get Al Sharpton and Jesse out in front of the corporate headquarters with a bullhorn yelling and screaming. Now it's, it's economic terrorism if people who, don't think the same way progressives think, apply the same tactics. Anyway, watchdog on wallstreet.com.